We are going to be diving into the Brother Art Spira app, specifically the drawing tool. Welcome to the Sewing Report. I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. I have got the Brother Art Spira app pulled up here. This is going to be a faceless video because you don't really need to see my mug for this one. I've got my iPad already, the Brother PE900, which I've been trying out the last week or so and I've got my Apple Pencil. I figured this will come in handy for the drawing tool. Now here's the thing, this app has been out for a while and this technology is not exactly new, but I have been able to find next to no resources on using this tool. So I thought I would make one myself, try it out, see if it's any good, see if it sucks. I really have no idea because I have not been able to find an actual demonstration of the app and the drawing tool and how it stitches out anywhere online. Maybe I'm wrong. I did look quite a bit and I was not able to find much. So I mentioned in a previous video that I kind of feel like this app is not great. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not a huge fan of it so far. I don't find it to be a huge benefit to getting a new upgraded embroider machine. I think this also works with the Brother Scan and Cut. The app is free. It's available for both Android and Apple phones. But here's the kicker, folks. A few of you pointed this out and you're totally right. The other software that's called the Design Database Transfer Software that can get designs on your computer into the embroidery machine wirelessly, it does not work with Mac products. Now I was able to download it on my Windows based PC, but I think it's a huge miss for brother not to have it available for any type of Apple computers, which to me is weird because the Art Spira app is available on the Apple App Store and it's available for iPads or iPhones. I'm going to use the iPad because I just feel like a phone for me is too small to do a lot on. I feel like the app is kind of an oversight. That's just my honest thought. It has a weekly magazine. I am not really motivated to make any of the projects or do any of the things featured. It's just not really my jam. They have a few free designs. Honestly, there are free designs everywhere. Like you can find free or very cheap designs pretty much anywhere you go. So I don't feel like that's a huge selling point for me. So I would not get a new or upgraded embroider machine just for this feature. The Wi-Fi stuff's sort of cool. The jump stitch trim feature is all right. I couldn't even find any instructions for using it. So you can go to this little arrow down here that says new here. There's this uh, thing called drawing tools. Now you can select your hoop size, a four by four or five by seven. You're apparently supposed to be able to draw or like even like import photos. I don't know how well that would work out quite honestly. And uh, it's got an eraser. You can also do like some little shapes so you can do other things and like add to it, I guess. I'm not really sure. Like, I mean, again, I could just use an existing embroidery design. I don't know. So it's got some shapes and stuff. So, I mean, there's that. So, I mean, I don't know. So it's got two things. You can either do kind of like a satin stitch or like kind of like a, like a little running stitch kind of thing. So I guess we'll try both. I'm going to do my own designs and then we're gonna actually stitch them out at the machine. See if this thing is for real. All right, so, and there's this little like lever here. I'm not even sure what this does. And I tried to find some sort of instruction manual for the Art Spira app, and I did download it. It had zero information about the drawing tool. I gotta say, by the way, this video is clearly not sponsored. I paid for the machine myself. I have no association with Brother, but Brother, I feel like you really need to make some resources for these things because there really were not any, and this thing has been out for a while, and you have zero videos on how to really use it. I don't know what this bar means, I feel like this might be like the stitch length. When I was drawing things out, like kind of on my own, I really did not see any difference. Okay, so let's draw a couple things. We might, so this is with the little lever, like all the way to the, sh I guess this is like the shortest thing, I don't know. So let me just try to draw some stuff. Again, I'm not the greatest at drawing, but again, you don't really see how it's gonna look. So I'm just gonna, all right, so I guess this is like undo. So there's like undo and redo up here. 
Again, brother, I should not be having to make this video. You should already have videos on this. All right, let's move this all the way to the right and see if this makes a difference. I'm just gonna draw some random lines. Again, this doesn't really, like, let's see what happens when I hit next. Do I wanna save? Okay, I guess so. I don't know what happens. All right, let's do like practice. So I'm gonna call this practice. Let's see. All right, let's see if this looks any different on like, is there like a preview screen? Again, this kind of, yeah, not really. All right, so this is the stitch simulator, I guess. Okay, so let's see. All right, so play. So I guess this is how it's gonna stitch out. I honestly am just like, I don't know what this is gonna look like. So, all right, let me go back. Obviously, I don't really wanna use this as the test, so. We're gonna get rid of this. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna do one like satin stitch thing and then I'm gonna do one with whatever this line tool is. Again, there are no resources for this so I don't even know what these things are called. Apparently you can also import images but I really don't think this is gonna work. This is not the type of thing where you can import a picture and it's just gonna stitch out. I don't even know what this does. Clearly this is not gonna really work. I don't know if this is for you to like trace or something or if this is for the brother scan and cut, but I find this pretty strange. So you can, this is J-Hope from BTS, by the way, it's a screenshot. So I'm gonna get rid of that because that's pretty useless. So I'm just gonna, or I guess do this little satin stitch thing. Again, I don't even know what it is. So I'm gonna do one with this little menu bar at like the far left. So this is what this looks like. Again, let me do one with it to the far right. I don't even know. You see, the stitching looks the same. So that's what I don't really understand, like what this is. So I don't know. I'm just gonna cancel this. So I'm just gonna do a test that says sewing report. So I guess I'll put this sort of in the middle. I don't know what that's gonna do. And apparently it will stitch out in the order you draw. Now I am not great at drawing on iPads. I do have the Procreate app, but I, I'm pretty terrible at it. All right, so we're just going to, all right, yeah, let's get rid of this. All right, let's try that. Let's try this over again. I feel like I could have done better with this. It's also a little rough because I, I gotta kind of hold the iPad. All right, so I'm gonna hold the iPad and then draw. I'm gonna sort of try to draw the sewing report, how it looks in my logo, but it's really gonna be bad. All right, so I'm gonna do my little dot I. Hopefully I can spell sewing report correct. That would be kind of a hoot if I didn't. All right, so this is sewing. Let's do report. Okay, that one kind of stinks. All right. Yeah, I didn't like that either. And there's really no way to like smooth out your drawing. So like, I don't know how many people wanna stitch out stuff they drew. If you're a great artist, I think that's one thing. Okay, I'm really not great with this kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, this doesn't look good either, okay. All right, I need to do this a little closer up here. Okay, here we go. All right. And I will be using the jump stitch trim, so hopefully, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be great, guys. All right, so here's sewing report. So we're gonna try to stitch this out. And then we'll also do another test with this little like running line stitches, like regular stitching. Actually, we'll just do hello. Let's do hello and see how that stitches out. Actually, I'm gonna put this on the whatever this, I think this is the stitch length. I don't even know. We'll do that, I guess. All right, let's just type out. Guys, this is gonna be really, really bad. All right, here we go. All right, so this is our test. So we're going to actually send this to the machine and see what happens. All right, we'll save it. Let's just save. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen now. This, I'm just curious to see like what this is gonna look like when I actually stitch this out. All right, so apparently, I don't know how good or bad this is gonna be. No idea. No idea.
but here's the stitch simulator. So, all right, we can share our designs in social. All right, no, we're not gonna do that. All right, so preview. Should we transfer this? Okay. All right, I guess we'll try to transfer this. Okay. Do you want to finish editing? I don't know, what does that even mean? Finish? What does finish editing mean? Okay. I have no idea. Anyways, all right, so let's go over to the embroidery machine. All right, we are over at the embroidery machine screen and let's see if we can find the, okay. Okay, raise presser foot lever. Okay, we can do that. All right, remove the embroidery frame. And I have a piece of cotton flannel already hooped up with some tearaway stabilizer in the back just as a test. So I think I need to, oh, okay. I think I need to click on the pocket. What is, okay. And then I think the cloud with the pocket. Please wait a while. All right. Your machine is not connected to the internet. Well, all right, what? I thought it was. All right, let's try that now. Um, all right, we might need to go to the home screen, I guess. Let's see if we're connected to the internet. Well, all right, this says, this says we're fine, so I don't know what this machine is talking about. Brother, you are wrong. All right, let's go back. Seriously, guys, I'm just half thinking that this whole Art Spira app is just a gimmick. I don't have high hopes for this stitch out, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so here is the test. It didn't, okay, so it actually didn't transfer over like the second, the hello, it only transferred over the sewing report, I think. Oh wait, it did, okay. So, all right, I guess uh, let's give this a go. So here it is, edit, and I'm gonna, I like to reduce the tension a little bit so I'm gonna change it to 3.6. I've got end color trim, jump stitch trim. I've got a piece of snazzy raspberry color thread. And we are going to try to stitch this out and see how good or how bad this drawing tool is. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it towards the end. Moment of truth here. I'm just gonna, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this thread. And we will see. I don't know what this is gonna, I honestly have no idea what this is gonna look like. What do you know, it seems to be working. All right, now it's doing the jump stitch trim because it's got to do the little dotted eye here. It's 
kind of interesting how it like has to move back and forth before it goes to start stitching again. That's kind of interesting. Alright, now we're on to report. This is taking a really long time. Now it's moving on to the hello and I'm really curious how this will turn out because I really honestly don't know what I'm going to end up with for this portion. So we're going to find out. Let me just sort of pat this down. Alright, so that's just sort of like a regular stitch, not a satin stitch. This should be much quicker. Yeah, I don't know if that meant like, I really don't know if that little slider option bar thing meant like stitch length, like how long the stitches would be. I really don't know. It looks like we're done. Let's get this out of the hoop and take a closer look. Here's an up close look at the sample. You see the sewing report with the satin stitching, the hello with more of your standard stitching. Let's take a look at the back, see how the tension looks. Actually not bad, I gotta say, for being sort of like an auto digitizing program. I mean, I think this is workable. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm gonna give you a closer look at the back here. I had the tension set at 3.6. It's not super messy on the back, but I didn't have too many jump stitches here, so I should be able to clean this up a bit. I still have absolutely no idea what that slider function is in the drawing tool, what that means. The stitching is probably a little over an eighth inch wide, and I had it, I think, set all the way to the right, so I don't know. Oh, and by the way, fun fact, the project didn't save in the app. Like, after I sent it over to the machine, the thing I was working on is nowhere to be found in the app. All it saved, for some reason, was the practice thing I did earlier, which I definitely don't really need that. The drawing tool function, it works. Now, here's the question. Is this gonna be something I use? For me personally, not really. I guess it depends on how much you actually like your own drawing. My drawing is like okay, but when I'm trying to do it on an iPad or something, it's not great. 
this looks hand-drawn. This does not look uniform. This does not look professional. I mean, if you're really great at doing digital art and stuff, I think that could work for you. But if you're not, I don't know who's really going to use this. And my other question is really, if you're a professional artist, you're probably not going to be using a free drawing tool in the Brother Art Spira app. You're going to be using Procreate or some other digitizing software. And that's the thing, you don't need the Artspire app to do any of this. What I could do, I could get the Procreate app on the Apple store and it costs like $10. I could draw something or I could use like Adobe Illustrator or like something or like Photoshop, draw stuff and then I could just send it to a digitizer. There are a lot of custom digitizers that will take an image or something you drew or created and they'll digitize it for you to turn it into an embroidery file. So I think this is kind of a novelty. I, you know, it was fun to try out to see if it works. It does work, but again, this is not something I'm gonna put on like a t-shirt or a pillow or something. If I'm just trying to do text, I would probably just get an embroidery font, like a BX font, which I've talked about in some previous videos, and then throw it into Embrilliance Essentials and then just type out whatever phrase I want and the lettering is actually gonna be like nice. What I drew here is like pretty wonky. It's not fantastic. And you can kind of tell that it's not super professional. So, I mean, it works. It just really depends on what you're trying to do. Now that I've had a chance to peruse the Artspire app, try out the drawing tool, I'm gonna share my honest thoughts and this is not sponsored so I can say whatever I want. And that's that I think this app is kind of crap. So here's why. The weekly magazine I find kind of useless. I mean, you can find this on any like blog, you can go on Pinterest. You don't need to download the Artspire app to get that. They've got some very generic designs. You can get embroidery designs for very cheap or free a lot of other places. There's also a bunch of built-in designs with your machine. So I don't really see myself using this app for that. The drawing tool, now, you know, I gotta say this is, I feel like this is kind of a novelty. It was fun to try out and just see what this hubbub was about, but I don't really see myself using this because I feel like this really depends on like how much you like your own drawing, which for me is not that much. If you're a serious artist, I don't really see you using the Brother Art Spire app to create your art. You're probably using a more advanced program like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or you're using, if you're really into embroidery, you are using some type of like advanced digitizing software like Embrilliance, like Wilcom, something like that. There's a bunch out there. You're probably not coming here to use this very, and that's what it is. This is a very, very simplified tool. You can't like change colors. You can't really customize a lot of things. You can't change like how, I don't think you can change how wide these stitches are because I don't even know Honestly, you still have no idea what this really does. This little slider thing here. Literally no clue. To me, this just doesn't have enough features for this to be like a, any sort of a serious product. It's just not. And you also have a lot of other options. Now, if I wanna draw something, I could draw something in Procreate, which is an app available for like 10 bucks. And then I could send it to a professional digitizer who will make sure it looks its best. But this is just such a kind of a primitive thing you can't really even out your lines. Very, very basic. And there's plenty of very good embroidery digitizers out there. So if you are an artist and you draw and do digital art, you could create your digital art. And then I would recommend not trying to go in here. If you're not familiar enough with the software yourself, go to a digitizer and have them do it professionally. A while back, I had embroidery digitizing expert, Eric Campbell on the channel. And he really talked a lot about how auto digitizing, which is kind of what this is, how it's not ideal for getting professional or quality results. So while this was kind of fun to do, I wouldn't say this is like quality stitching. I mean, it worked, but I don't think it looks like fantastic. I'm not gonna put this on a pillow or anything. Again, the functionality is there, but it's missing a lot of functions in my opinion. My verdict is the Brother Art Spira app is crap. And I also have a couple other things to say about it as well. I don't really see myself using it for the drawing tool. You know, I'm just gonna buy a design that's much nicer than anything I can draw, or I'm going to get a BX font, throw it into the software I use, Embrilliance Essentials, 
affiliate links are down below. And then I'm just gonna create whatever text I want if I wanna do words, phrases, names, anything like that. I'm probably not gonna go into the drawing tool and try to create phrases or anything like, hi. Like, cause again, this just does not look nearly as nice as how I would want it to look. I also have another theory that I want to share with you. And that is that I believe that Brother created this app. I think maybe one of the factors is to collect our data and information. If you go to settings here and go to usage, usage information, you can see by default, your settings say, send usage information to help Brother products and services. By default, it's checked on. And I agree to receive emails for customer support and marketing from Brother. So I'm gonna go ahead and check no to that. Okay, of course you need to restart your machine before, you, before that happens. And I'm gonna click no to agree to receive emails for customer support and marketing for Brother. There's also a privacy policy. I would recommend if you are worried about your privacy, you may wanna review that, like your rights over your device data and register data. And I mean, a lot of companies do this, so it's not like Brother's the only one. Cricket, I've talked about before, Cricket is definitely collecting your data. I actually think one of the goals, in my opinion, for the Art Spira app is to collect customer data because again, I've talked about this before, if something is free, we are the product and this app is quote unquote free. So that means they're using our information somehow. So again, I'm not saying don't download the app or don't use it, but I am sharing my thoughts after using it and just what I think is really going on. No shade at Brother. I know they, they got to do what they got to do and they're not doing anything that other companies aren't doing. Big corporations gonna big corporation. Anyways, those are my thoughts and takeaways after trying out the Brother Art Spira app. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Is this something you're interested in? Is it a selling point for you when it comes to embroidery machines? or the brother scanning cut, or do you think it's like me, just sort of a novelty gimmick thing? That's kind of where I land. Again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it is what it is. I hope you found this helpful because I literally have not seen any demonstrations really where anyone goes into detail or does a tutorial on how to go from the drawing tool to actually stitching out on the embroidery machine. And I will be doing more with the brother PE 900 I know I keep wanting to say Brother PE 800 because I've been saying it for so long. There are some helpful links down below in the description box and I will see you next time. Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. Whatever you're doing, make it fun.